Hi and welcome back to a new video. Early August I was connected with Bruce Lee over Discord who's an enthusiast from Romania. And he bought this 7800X 3D over the marketplace called OLX, which can be compared to for example Facebook Marketplace. And on this marketplace it's mostly private sellers that are selling stuff and that means that you don't have any kind of returns or warranty that comes with it. And he bought the 7800X 3D for 300 euro, which is about 100 euro below the typical retail price of a 7800X 3D in Romania, typically 400 euro. Once he received the CPU, he put it in the motherboard, tried to start it up, nothing happened. He then grabbed a multimeter to do basic measurements such as ground to ground or ground to v-core to get the internal resistance of the CPU. That is just a basic check to see if the CPU is still alive or if the PCB itself is alive. But as you can see, he couldn't find any kind of connection on the PCB itself at all. I then offered to him that I will buy the CPU for the normal retail price of 400 euro so he can just go out and buy a new 7800X 3D from a trusted reseller with warranty and we have the CPU here to take a closer look at it which might be interesting and all of this is simply possible because you're watching the videos and we have sponsors and partners that are financing the videos with advertisement. Are you looking for a strong and reliable hosting partner? Then Hetzner is the right place for you. As a leading hosting provider with their own high-tech data center, Hetzner offers GDPR compliant hosting at incredibly low prices. Hetzner operates several hundred thousand servers at multiple locations in Europe and the USA and most recently also in Singapore. Hetzner products impress above all with their outstanding price performance ratio. The secret behind this, simple and functional solutions, a focus on core features and a constant optimization. Click on the link in the description and discover more about Hetzner. I also asked him to provide some pictures so I can do some kind of verification, some just basic checks first to see if maybe the CPU isn't just that and if it could indeed be a fake. And I immediately spotted some things that are not normal. So that's the CPU and if you're not too familiar with AM5 CPUs then you could indeed directly assume that this is a legit normal AM5 7800X 3D. My first thought when I saw the pictures was like that the color of the PCB itself is a little bit off. But that might be plausible due to just the light of the image for example. But then I took a look at all the capacitors that are standing out of the IHS and none of them are covered with glue, which is very unusual. As a direct comparison, unfortunately, I only have a deleted 7800X 3D, but it should do the trick. The PCB here is much more greenish and here it's a little bit more blue. And as you can see, all those capacitors are covered with glue and on this CPU, they're not. And that's something, I mean, I had to deal with specifically for Grizzly because, I mean, the non-X 3D Ryzen 7000 didn't have that glue. And then when they came out, it turned some of our products not compatible to X3D. So I directly paid attention to them and that's not normal for X3D. I grabbed a few more Ryzen AM5 CPUs to get a better picture and comparison because if you pay attention to this Ryzen 9000, the PCB is indeed a lot more blue than Ryzen 7000 is. So that might be plausible and possible. So that alone might not be an indicator of having a fake CPU. But let's just throw the CPU in the socket, same as probably Bruce Lee did it. Put it in here. And as you can see, nothing happens. And when I closed the socket, I also immediately noticed how much easier it is to close this than it usually is. And then I already noticed it a little bit earlier, just touching the CPU. The PCB is thinner, thinner than usual which means the CPU sits lower in the socket and in result, the mounting pressure is lower than usual. Putting a normal 7800X 3D inside this micrometer, I can measure a PCB height of roughly 1.31 millimeters. However, our CPU from Romania measures below one millimeter, which is definitely not normal and outside any kind of manufacturing tolerance. So I decided to do some GIMP magic, picked the 7800X 3D from Bruce Lee and compared it with my original heat spreader of the original 7800X 3D. I took pictures from both parts and tried to have the same angle and then cut out the original heat spreader and put it above the CPU of Bruce Lee. 
Now I can play around with opacity and compare both parts, making it partially transparent to just find differences. And already on first sight, you can see a lot of differences. Not only what is written on the heat spreader, but also the shape itself. For example, if we focus on this arm of the heat spreader, top center, on the original heat spreader, it's just much wider than on the CPU from Romania. At this point, you always have to straight ask yourself the question how plausible it would be that AMD would have different versions of the heat spreader out there. And looking at all the different CPUs that I have, that might be Ryzen 7000, Ryzen 9000, and even the 8700G, which is definitely a different CPU when it comes to how it's built. But even the 8700G has physically the same IHS when it comes to the outer shape. And AMD would definitely try to avoid making any changes to this because it would result in possible conflicts when it comes to compatibility. But here again on this IHS, the outer shape is different. And same goes to what's written on it, what's laser engraved on it. First, if we start with the AMD Ryzen logo itself, cannot really tell a difference to the original heat spreader. But the position on the heat spreader is different. If we compare the logo of the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D itself, then you can see it's not only on a different position, but it's also a different font. And it's also a different length, which is something I cannot imagine that AMD would ever do. If we compare the R, the Y and the E in Ryzen, you can see that the font is definitely different. And all of this seems like it's a fake CPU. At least I can't think why AMD would do such changes. Now I want to find out what we can see underneath the heat spreader because in this state it doesn't work and we see some changes to the original. I also checked Google to find if there are similar documented cases of a fake 7800X 3D, but I couldn't really find something that it fits this case. I could find one thing on Reddit where somebody had a uh, yeah, laser engraved 7800X 3D based on AM4. But on AM4 it's obvious, like completely different socket with PGA on the back and all that, but seems to be something new. We will just delete the CPU. That should give us a lot better insights. Mm -hmm. So that was already quite odd. Usually I have to move it back and forth like 50 times and on the first step it already felt loose. That's not normal. Usually I would sit here like 10 minutes moving it back and forth until it comes loose. This blows my mind, honestly. When I got the CPU, I looked inside the CPU from the side and I was like, yeah, I can see something. It looks like there's a chip underneath, like on this CPU. If you look from the side, you can spot something. It looks like they faked both IO die and CCD as part of the heat spreader. Why are they even, like, there are holes drilled into the heat spreader. Why, why would you even do that? And the PCB? Looks like it doesn't contain anything, except for a bunch of capacitors. I mean, they did all the efforts making the capacitors, but seems like there's nothing in the middle. I also just remembered that it came with the original box. And here we have the serial number of the CPU. And that's also what I checked. It's the same as the serial number, that's the third line on the bottom on the IHS, so that is, it is a real professional fake. It even matches the serial number on the box. We just scratch off the glue and take a look underneath. It's insane how much effort they put into this. They really mimicked the CCD and IO die with the part of the heat spreader. If you ask yourself the question why there are holes in it, I asked myself the same. I just have a wild guess. It could be due to the nickel plating process and it's usually a lot easier if you have some holes where you can attach a screw for the nickel plating process and that would be my guess but yeah. It, overall this is done really professional. We just do the same on the CPU. Well not CPU but on the PCB where usually you would find a P uh, CPU but looks like it's just empty. If we compare the fake with an original heat spreader, there's also some manufacturing differences. Like on the original, you always have those marks on the bottom edge, 
which is due to the forming of the IHS. I guess it's typically laser cut and then formed, like stamped. And that is one of the typical edges you get during this process. And this is missing on the fake one. Overall, this is an extremely professional fake for both parts, heat spreader and PCB. If we start with the PCB, what gave it away too quickly is the color of the PCB and the PCB height. They could have made it better by having the exact PCB height. But overall, like even the positioning of the capacitors is absolutely accurate. Like not all pads are populated with capacitors and it follows exactly the original of a 7800X 3D. So that is spot on. Even the positions of the capacitors and now somebody could, could think that somebody somehow got the same PCBs from AMD's PCB manufacturer, which I think is not plausible simply because it's a completely different PCB height. So it is for sure a different and just a fake somebody made himself or just ordered from a PCB manufacturer out there. The IHS on the other hand is really impressive. I just told you about the marks on the side that are missing on the fake AMD heat better. And taking this into account, the outer appearance is actually better than the original. Like it has less of those manufacturing marks. So quality wise, someone spent a huge amount of time probably and effort and probably also money on making this fake IHS. It's probably even made with the same kind of process just without the manufacturing marks on the side. And I'm blown away by the fact that they even put the fake chips underneath. Like maybe if you would get the CPU and check from the side like I did, it's like, okay, I can see something underneath. It looks like a chip is present, which is not the case because they mimicked it over yeah, part of the IHS. That's really, it's, my, it's mind blowing how good this fake is done. I'm just asking myself the question, who the target of this fake is? If it's really just the end customer, or if it's maybe AMD directly, I could think of that somebody buys it, returns it to AMD, or somebody tries to yeah, return multiple of those fakes directly to AMD to get real ones in return, or to get some refund in some regard. I'm not sure how it would be possible. But yeah, I mean, whenever you buy your CPU from a trusted source, might be Newegg, Micro Center, whatever, if you buy from a trusted seller, there's not really a risk. Like even if you would get a fake, you could directly contact the seller, then you would probably get a replacement or a refund and he could track down where he got the fake from. So it's probably just to avoid yeah, cheaper CPUs on other marketplaces. That's probably a source where you could get it, obviously apart from AliExpress and Timu and all those places. But overall, that's uh, somebody invested a lot of time in faking stuff and scamming people. Don't get scammed, be careful. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time, bye bye.